Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I had an error come up in my car where the um, VCDS software was reading that there was a K line short to ground somewhere in the system. Uh, and looking around on forums, I found a number of potential explanations for how to fix that. Um, they were all either really slow, like unplugging one of the all the modules one by one, and then you know checking for VCS connectivity after that, or uh, using a voltmeter. I didn't have a whole ton of success finding out where the short in the K line was coming from using a voltmeter, a multimeter. Um, so what I did was, luckily with these um, these Rostec cables, they've got this these LED lights on them that light up whenever there's a short to ground in the K line. So you can just take this and just plug this into the OBD2 port without having the computer on, without having the car on or anything, without the key in the ignition or anything, and it'll tell you, if it'll blink red if there's a short to ground somewhere. So the place that I found to fix this problem uh, was right over here. Let's see. Okay, so I've taken off the, uh, the panel underneath the uh, steering wheel here. Here's the OBD2 port itself. And if you follow the uh, wiring loom up the OBD2 port, in my car at least, this is a 2003 Audi TT uh, Quattro, but I imagine it'll be very similar on all others. Uh, the line splits off from the cable line that goes directly to the port for the OBD2. It splits off and just kind of stops in the middle of nowhere. And if you undo the, the sheath, around that spot, you'll see that there are all these gray wires that are all wired together and just meet up at this crimp, at a, at a crimp point down here. This is the place where all of the K lines for the car uh, come together and are unified before going to the OBD2 port, okay? So what you can do is you just remove the sheath, undo it. It's not soldered in, it's not a special clamp or anything, they're just pressed together so you can just pull the wires apart you can just pull the wires off one by one and check which one causes the short in the k line to go away because they can't oh, they're, they're very unlikely that all of them are short it's just one so you just unwrap that sheath tip the, if you have the your, you know if you have the ross tech thing you can plug that in here and it'll it, when you plug it in it'll stop blinking red uh when the uh short goes away if you don't you just have a kind of a dumb kkl Bagcom reader or whatever, then you'll have to do a, you know, try and connect the, to the computer, but uh, that I found was much easier than unplugging the modules one by one. So, hopefully that helps somebody out there. It certainly helped me.